What are my top three non-invasive skin rejuvenation techniques? Stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back, Christine Beyer here, licensed esthetician for 23 years. And I have been working on faces with all sorts of different modalities the past 23 years to lift them and to make them look better. Skin quality, all of it. Shrink pores, lift jowls, help with under eye puffiness, mailer bags, you name it, I have addressed it here in my treatment room. Now, you may expect me to say something like thermage or radio frequency microneedling or old therapy. And while these are all fantastic for skin rejuvenation, I tend to do the stuff that you need to do before and after to maintain your results. Now, my top three are maybe what you'd expect and maybe not, but they are tried and true, proven to make your face look better over time, without a doubt. Now, are they the same as these invasive procedures you have done with the derms, the plastic surgeon's office? No, but did you know if you go and have that done and you don't add energy to your face afterwards, you'll heal and you'll look better. But if you wanna really supercharge your results, it's best to add energy. And how do we add energy to our face? You may ask. <laughs> so number three of my top non-invasive anti-aging procedures is microneedling, right? Okay, so this is a little bit invasive, but did you know microneedling has evolved, right? So microneedling is, it's something if you do it well, you usually have a little bit of downtime where you look a tiny bit crazy, you look kind of wind burnt and a little crazy the next few days, and then you peel like crazy. If you do it right, you peel like crazy. Now, with this device, you can actually do microneedling anytime you want. And it also pairs to push product into the face like no other device I've seen. It does a great job at that. What am I talking about? I am talking about nano channeling or nano needling. This is the Skin One Pro and it is perfect for this. Now, this has, I'm not sure if you can see this, a little microchip in it. And so because it's not needles jabbing into the face, you don't have any redness afterwards. Now you can overdo it and almost microneedle your face with this, depending on how strong a treatment you do, because it has three levels. Now, I would start off with level one. All three levels are gonna be exfoliating, but not with needles. This is a silicone chip. So what happens is it penetrates the skin to 0.15 millimeters into the skin. So right where dead tissue meets live tissue. And so the beautiful thing about this device is that you can use it anytime. You can use it up to three times a week, although really over 50, you're looking at maybe once, maybe twice a week. You don't have to go too crazy with this, but it's going to wake up those lazy cells, especially, I don't know if you ever looked and it feels like the skin underneath your eye is just lazy, lazy. Like it's not accepting any eye creams and nothing's really making it change. This <laughs> and around the lips, lip lines, this is so good at waking up those dormant, senescent skin cells that are just like, no, I'm just gonna hang out here and just be. I'm not gonna look better no matter what you do to me. <laughs> this, this sort of roughs up that area, it infuses product, and on level three, it does a really nice exfoliation. So yeah, this is microneedling evolved. This is something you can do with no downtime, penetrates product like a dream and wakes up those skin cells that may just be kind of sleeping. What is my number two? You might have guessed. <laughs> LED. Look, LED is the bomb. LED, I bought my first LED device, light emitting diodes, and I'm gonna show you a picture here of something I'm really in love with. A really good dose of LED is going to speed up cellular turnover in the skin by five to seven times. That's insane, but it's proven. I've been using LED since 2001, so 22 years. And then everybody on YouTube, they're all talking about red light, LED, red light. And I'm like, well, of course <laughs> it works. Of course it works. You know, they first used LED 
NASA used it. It quickly spread to the equestrian field and of course skincare. And so I bought my first device in 2001 and it was tiny and I finally gave it away. <laughs> it was just like this little LED that covered this much space. It was, I think 19 diodes and it was red infrared worked amazingly, but it's like watching paint dry. And so now everybody wants masks and I'm very pleased to introduce our new mask. I'm not gonna go too much deeper into it because I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this mask. This has been available for a while and everybody's been asking me for a mask. And although I really like the arrays and the ones that have LEDs tightly packed together and putting it flat on the skin so all that energy goes right into the skin and doesn't escape out, out underneath. I do love this mask. I've been using it and I'm impressed, I have to say. And so, yes, do I like LED that's flat against the skin better? Sure, but that's not always possible. And LED does not work unless you use it. And so if you're not gonna use it because you don't have enough time to use a device where you're laying it flat on the skin, this is the next best thing. So LED, LED, LED. If you go and get that invasive thermage or you get the Morpheus 8 or any of those treatments, you really do want to go in afterwards, maybe wait a week. LED you can really do even the same day. I do, when I do fibroblasts to my clients, I will go in right afterwards and use LED. It's anti-inflammatory, it's analgesic, and so it takes a lot of the pain and the heat out of a freshly worked over face. It's fantastic on bruises, open wounds, all sorts of things you can use it on. But for our purposes, we're talking about the face and for speeding up cellular turnover, adding energy to the skin with no downtime and very few complications. The only complications I've ever seen with this is people overusing it. When they first came out well, 10 some years ago, people were like using them to death and they would get what I call the skin uglies where they would use them so much and then the skin would be really dry. So using these devices is kind of like asking the skin to run a marathon. So we wanna make sure 100% that we are using hydrating masks, uh, hydrating conductive gels, things that really, really nourish the skin while we're doing these non-invasive skin enhancing procedures. We, we really need to be kind to our skin and nourish it as well as we drive it to turn over faster with these devices. So if you want to multitask and use something on your face that hydrates and nourishes while you use any of these devices, my Hydrate and Conduct, fabulous. This can be used as a hydrating mask all by itself, or you can use it with any of these devices. So we have talked about LED and we have talked about microneedling, AKA nano needling, AKA microchanneling. And what is my top device for helping the skin look its best and lift and tone the facial muscles and add energy to the face so that you can recover if you do any of these super or more invasive procedures. Well, if you know me at all, you know it's my current. <laughs> yes, okay, so we've got another new device and can you believe it, two in a week, I know. I have been looking at this little cute Foreo for the longest time. What does microcurrent do for the skin? Well, it adds energy to the skin. It increases ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. And what that is, it is the energy that the, mit the mitochondria of the cell makes when we add microcurrent to it or LED. So microcurrent and LED are fantastic for increasing energy of the skin, increasing ATP, so that the skin can heal and heal scars and heals, heals wounds and rejuvenate the face after one of these more invasive procedures. And so microcurrent, yes, another new device, the Foreo. This device can be used with or without vibration. It has five different levels. It's a really cool device, but I like it because I feel like all, now look, you would want to use my conductive gel with this, of course, but I have plenty of stuff on my face right now. But what you would do, you want to start out, if you're in your 50s, say, you're going to be using microcurrent three, four, maybe five times a week. You always want to give your skin some downtime afterwards. 
or between treatments because it's really doing a lot of work. All right, so not only does microcurrent help you recover from more invasive treatments, it's also gonna speed up cellular turnover, it's gonna work on fine lines and wrinkles, it's gonna make your pores look pristine over time, right? And it's also going to help with pigmentation. I mean, anything that you can think of that your skin is suffering from, when you add energy to it with these devices, it helps it sort of get over that hump and repair itself. Over the years, I've seen people go, uh, clients, right? They'll come in and they'll say, you know, I had IPL or I had CO2 laser or I had Fraxel, you know, these really invasive treatments. And I didn't see much of a result. And I'm thinking, well, of course you didn't. You know, you did nothing post-procedure to like really amp up the skin. And so I'll see clients who have very sort of what we call lackluster skin. And not all skin is lackluster. If you have skin that's very cuprose or rosacea prone, or you see a lot of, they also call it peaches and cream. If you see a lot of redness in your face like mine, then no, you don't have a lackluster skin. You have a more blood filled type of skin that really responds better than somebody with this type of skin that I'm talking about. And so a lot, of, I see a lot of clients who've had acne and in their youth and then I'll go in and I'll start remodeling their skin and turning it over faster and everything starts to sort of heal. It takes a while, but it starts to heal and it starts to turn over faster. And that's what we need when we wanna heal and get the best results possible after these really deeply invasive treatments. So we're adding energy to the skin. I put this picture up and I got so much vitriol from people. People were mad. They were like, she had surgery. No, she did not. So this before and after of the scalp, this pretty, pretty amazing. But if you look at her, I don't think she even touched her face before. <laughs> but basically what was done to the scalp is microcurrent, microneedling, and ultrasound. And so this was an esthetician who did this work. It was not a doctor, it was not a plastic surgeon. And she also ne used Neogenesis and people were screaming at me saying, you know, you this lady had a facelift, she did not. <laughs> so if you think of one of the first things you wanna do to an aging face, you want to lift those muscles, right? And microcurrent does that like nobody's business. It is like one of the first things we turn to, like I turned to as an, an early esthetician or brand new esthetician, I think it was two or three years before I found microcurrent. It was new-ish and it wasn't even known to the consumers really. They had a few consumer devices, but just really underground. But you think about it and you're like, yeah, we gotta lift those muscles. We gotta clear out that lymph. We gotta clean up the face and get it toned and youthful looking and those cheeks popped out, right? So yeah, it's the first thing we turn to. So this gal, she had a series of microcurrent professional treatments, which, you know, now microcurrent devices are very nice and you can mimic these effects at home. She did ultrasound. So ultrasound is found in like the Time Master Pro, for example, and she did microneedling. So there's no reason why you couldn't get at least half as good of these results using these three non-invasive treatments that I'm talking about here in this video. So nano channeling, nano needling, LED, and microcurrent, my top three non-invasive treatments to make your skin look as young as possible, make your skin look as healthy as possible, and also help you recover from anything heavy duty you may do, full therapy or thermage or Morpheus 8, any of those kind of really treatments that you're gonna have a little bit of downtime, a week, two weeks later, go in with your LED, go in with your microcurrent, add some energy to your skin, help it recover faster. And, and get results, you know? I mean, it's like, why are we doing these deep, deep, heavy duty CO2 lasers to just let our skin sort of languish afterwards with the same skincare as before and no extra energy? It makes no sense to me. But I did discover after years of working on clients that that's what we do. And I'm not shaming anybody. I'm just saying, why does this woman or why do these people not have better results? And it came to me because they're not adding energy post-treatment. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye now.